Nebraska football, Cornhusker Nation, this is huge. We just got a brand new running backs coach from TCU, and I'm also going to look at a couple of recruits that I think can really help out this program in the 2022 season. Before we get into all that though today, guys, do me a quick favor, hit that sub button. Okay, I give out weekly locks in all sports. I do hot takes on athletes from all over the world, and now I even cover Nebraska football. Considering the fact I was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska, and well, we don't have any pro sports there, so this is the biggest sports team in Nebraska. Today we're talking about the announcement, I believe it happened a few hours ago, of the new running backs head coach, Brian Applewood. This guy has been coaching for 20 plus years, I believe, okay? He won two titles as a fullback. Uh, at the D2 level with Northern Colorado. He's a native of Colorado. It looks like from 2003 to 2008, he was at Wyoming. After that, he went uh, to Louisiana Monroe from 2009 to 2014. After that, he was at Colorado State 2015 to 2019. And then the last two years, he's been at TCU. Some of you might have heard of the running back there that absolutely killed it this year for them. 1,000 plus yards, 10 touchdowns, I believe. Zach Evans, okay? So it goes to show this guy can develop talent, okay? Zach Evans, one of the top running backs in the country last year, and I would love if this guy could come in and do the same with one of Nebraska's running backs, okay? I made a video yesterday talking about the running back problem, I guess we could call it. Some of you guys in the comments said, we don't have a problem. We got a great group of guys down in Lincoln. Um, I named a few names, uh, Ramir Johnson, uh, Yant, and then Emmett Johnson, who's coming in, and then DeAndre Johnson. So we got a lot of guys coming in uh, in this running back room. I'm interested to see what Brian Applewhite can do. Guys, let me know in the comments if you think this was a good pickup for Nebraska. But it looks like this guy's pretty legit. You know, he's got a ton of experience. Andy has a good history of players that have done well under him, okay? So I'm excited for this. I think it'll be a good move by Frost, and it seems like we're almost, you know, complete as a team before this spring season starts. I think it's a great thing that Frost is doing before the spring season starts, okay? All these players have to be committed by the 18th or 19th, I believe, but I think it'll help even more that we have a solid core group of coaches in and we're not scrambling in the summer trying to fill spots at the coaching position okay one recruit i wanted to look at briefly today with you guys as well victor jones jr this guy's coming out of florida looks like he can absolutely fly this guy is a beauty okay he was getting offered by arkansas buffalo cincinnati a bunch of different schools and even though Scott Frost was dead last in the Big Ten for recruiting, got to give him up for this guy, all right? It looks like he signed, you know, a few weeks ago. So this isn't new news, but to me, I'm just seeing it. And uh, we'll watch a little film here. This guy looks explosive. I mean, he's an absolute beauty in my opinion. This wide receiver core, you know, I've been critical on the running backs, but I got to give it up to this wide receiver core down at Lincoln, all right? They are going to be dangerous. And I'm excited to see with Whipple what this offense can do, all right? And now we add in Applewhite for the running backs coach. In my opinion, this offense is pretty much set and ready to go. And I'm excited for them to get started in this spring season and uh, see what they can put together. But guys, let me know in the bottom below what you think of Victor Jones Jr. I know it's not new news like I already said, 6'2", 185, big dude. But uh, let me know if you think this guy's gonna be good for us. Only a three star, but in my opinion, he could easily be a four or five. So I'm excited to see what he could do. He'll probably come in and play right away. Uh, but who knows? Let me know what you guys think though in the comments on Victor Jones Jr. and what you think of Brian Applewhite as the new running backs coach. Uh, but thanks guys for tuning in and until uh, my next Nebraska video, I'm out.